All right, it's time for another edition of Let's Talk Business here on CentralValleyTalk.com. I'm Mike Scott. So glad you're with us today. And look who I have sitting next to me. I, I, I feel secure today. <laughs> We're not going to have any problems in the studio. This is Christina and Laura. Christina Rawson and Laura Duran. That's correct. From STC Security. And I asked you what STC stands for? It's short for Security Training Concepts. Security Training Concepts. Yes. And you provide... We uh, start off as a training company, and uh, we provide private security and also canine detection. When you say a training company, what do you mean? We train um, people to get them ready for security, so guard card, firearms, baton, taser, um, everything that you need to become a security officer, we provide that training. Hmm. So if, if I wanted to become a security officer, how long does it take to go through that training? Um, it's an eight-hour course. Oh, once that's you, it? Once you take that eight-hour course, and then uh, you get a life scan, and you apply through the state of California and they do a background check and that's the whole process. Huh. What's a life scan? A life scan is fingerprinting. Oh, okay. Why is it called life scan? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. It's a fingerprinting. <laughs> it <is. laughs> that's what the state calls it? They yeah. call it that. So anybody in eight hours, well, if they have a clean record, can become a security guard? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But you must, do you have a gut feeling when somebody comes in if they'd make a good security guard or not? Yes. <laughs> to get out or, yeah. or come on in. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> More hopefully stay than go, right? Yeah, and um, if they do the class with us, it doesn't mean that um, they would be hired on with us, but they could take the class through us and get hired on with any security company. Oh, okay. So. Now, do all security companies offer that training or just certain ones? And not all of them, just certain ones. Yeah. Some are just, just provide the security guards. For, Correct. Yeah. How did you get involved with this? Well, I had a law enforcement uh, previous history doing law enforcement. and came Were you, were you a police officer? Yes, I was for six and a half years. Wow. I was also a narcotic investigator, canine, so that's how we came on board. And now we started our canine unit with this STC security for narcotic detection and uh, firearms also. Don't most people go from security guard to police officer? It all depends. Yeah? It all depends. And that person. Yeah. Do you like what you do? I love it. Yeah, have a great boss. <laughs> <laughs> Who happens to be sitting right here. <laughs> now, it's getting harder and harder to get a police officer to respond when you have a problem at your house or your business. So is that why security companies are doing so well right now, because most businesses have to hire their own security? I, I believe so. Um, it does take, it, there's a, a, lot, a long response for police officers to show up, so a lot of companies use us because we have a quicker response. Well, you say long response for police. Sometimes they don't even respond. They say, that's, email us. Or, that's correct. Yeah. Or they say 48 hours. So, <laughs> Can you imagine if you were the victim of a crime and they said, we can't get there for 48 hours? Yeah. yeah. What's, what's your average response time? Um, we try to get there as quick as we can. Usually it's 5, 10. It just depends on where we are. But 5, 10, 15 minutes, we'll be there. It's or better we'll, than 48 hours. Well, yeah. Or we'll have a standing officer there at that location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also. just depends what the business has paid for, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. Now, you're both women, obviously. Mm -hmm. Do you, is it, are there more and more women becoming involved in the security profession, or has uh, it been that way for a while? I would say it's, it's, it's a lot more males yeah. in the security. So we just happen. It's to trying to it. gradually grow with yeah. women coming into the, this type of field of work. Yeah. Is it dangerous? It could be. You know, we encounter the same people officers would on the street. Mm -hmm. So we're, you know, also first responding, you know, to the scene or anything any type of disturbance, and then if it goes further to where they're violent or dangerous, you know, please get involved, but we, we have to come one-on-one -on -one with them also. Yeah. Are there things that you can't do that a police officer can? Or? Well, we could, we could place them under a citizen's arrest also, but they would be the ones to take them to jail and stuff. We don't have that. You would turn it over to the police to mm -hmm. do That's that? That's correct. Yeah. Correct. But I, I always think the security guards is just all they're going to do is call the police. But you will actually take care of the situation? Yeah, we'll detain them and have officers respond if, if needed so. Yeah. We're a proactive company. What if it's a big 300-pound guy? Was hey, well, <laughs> we, we're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. now what, what exactly do you have on your belts? Well, different officers carry different equipment. Depending um, on what yeah, um, license or certification they have? Yeah, or? we have unarmed and armed officers. Okay. We also carry the pep pepper spray, taser. Um, our handcuffs, uh, what are the, a baton. a baton, so it all depends yeah. on the officers. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tasers with you today? Oh, we sure do. We do. do you have any volunteers to be tased? <laughs> they, said you were, <laughs> they said you were going to do it. Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they said I was going to yeah. do it, though. No. Now, when you, when you qualify for taser, do you have to 
have it done to yourself to see what it feels like? You don't have to, but sometimes it's good just so if you ended up going to court, you, um, it just... Also, you know what, what it actually does to the yeah. person. I've yeah. actually been tased, and it's so not... So what does it feel like? Oh. Do you, you know, just go limp? Yes, you do. Yeah, there's no control over any muscle in your body. Wow. And then how long before you start to come back? Oh, you know, right away. It's right but, away. But it, you know, when we have the taser on, on a suspect or an individual, they won't want to feel that again. So they'll usually just <laughs> lay there and wait, wait, <laughs> wait for our command. Although I've heard of people that are, like, high on drugs, it may not even affect them. Some. Yes. Some. And it actually just recently happened. Yeah. What happened? Um, Without we, giving the person's name, obviously. Oh, yeah. but. Well, he was tased and he just ripped them out. Ooh. Yeah. And um, one of the police departments... Uh, tase him six more times and he didn't feel a thing. Yeah. So it does happen. Six times and he didn't feel a he thing. He did not yeah. feel a thing. It I know. That's crazy. <laughs> but how, how could a person do that? I mean, the what? high tolerance of, mm -hmm. of either alcohol or drugs. A certain just, type of drug he was yeah, on. Yes. Wow. What's the scariest situation either of you have ever been in? It would be something like that. Uh, yeah. Or an individual you get come into contact with and the taser doesn't even work. Mm -hmm. You know, and if officers don't respond quick enough to assist you. What do you, you know, do? You just continue, I guess, to tase them or call for our backup, in which usually our response time is, is also very quick for mm -hmm. someone to assist us in our, on our team. Mm. What was your scary story? It's probably the same thing. Just, you know, if, it, if the taser doesn't work, then what do you do? <laughs> now, do, do you actually carry guns? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can carry guns? Yes, okay. we do. But Only that's the last resort to pull yes. that gun, oh, right? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, we follow procedure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, at what point would you pull it? When you fear for your life. Mm -hmm. Fear for your life or someone else's life. life. Yes. Don't they say don't pull it unless you're actually Gonna prepared to shoot? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 How do you guys do it at, at the range? Can you get right in the target? Oh, sure. Oh, yes. Send a mask. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a gun do you carry? I carry a 40 SIG. A 40 SIG? Yes. Is that a SIG Sauer? Yes. Is that, is that, that's a good one, right? Yes. Yeah. And I also love shooting the AR-15. <laughs> that's like a little machine gun, isn't yes, it? Is it, it is. it semi-automatic? Yes. But you can't carry that on your waist. Oh, no. On your no, waist. no. But we're, we're experienced in different types of, you know, firearms. Yeah. So, so if I'm a business owner, I can request either an unarmed guard or a guard with a taser or, an, or a fully armed guard. Mm -hmm. is it, and and what, the price goes up for breach? Yes. It's what, usually standing guard, you keep saying? Yes, at different businesses. Oh, standing yeah. meaning they're there. They're there. At the, they yes. don't have to be called. They're actually yes. physically there. Yes. What kind of business would, would need that? Probably um, if there's a lot of money on the property or mm -hmm. maybe a gold exchange place, things yes. like that. Or maybe Definitely. if there's a, a lot of transients in the area, sometimes we'll have a standing officer there so we can just keep removing them. Mm. So people. Well, we don't have that problem in Fresno. Oh, <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Not Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's STC Security. And what's your phone number? How can folks reach you? Um, our phone number is 559 277 1580. And if they're interested in our um, canine detection, it is 844 canine sniff. Canine sniff? Yes. Robbie, Robbie's running around today. I'm yes. sure he got that one. Okay. Well, thank you both for coming okay, in. Thank and you. Even, even though we were kind of lighthearted today, it's a serious business, right? Mm -hmm. you, yes, and you do is. take it seriously. Yes, yeah. yes, we do. We appreciate you coming in. Okay, and you, you are watching Let's Talk Business on CentralValleyTalk.com.